Mara Sipeda ng Rappler. Hello, isang bayan conveners. Mara Sepeda of Rappler here. I have several questions. First, uh, and I address this to any of the conveners who wish to speak. You have nominated VP Lenny for president. Even if she has not formally declared her presidential bid, did she give any assurance, any some sort of assurance to the conveners that she would be announcing her presidential run soon? Um, may we address that question to Justice Tony, our chair? Thank you. Thank you, Mara. We have uh, uh, conveyed to VP Lenny that we have chosen her as our candidate for president, and uh, we expect her response anytime now. Uh, she is now in Bicol. Uh, she was on her way to Bicol when we uh, made our decision. Uh, we expect to meet with her and uh, explain to her why we have chosen her. And uh, we hope that she will accept the challenge. Uh, and uh, the filing of candidacy will be uh, October 1 already, up to 8. So we expect her to give us her decision very soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm. but, but did she say, sir, I mean, to the conveners that likely the decision would be saying yes because of course it's also a risk for Isambayan to be making an announcement today and placing your bets on you know a very qualified candidate but she hasn't announced her decision yet and if for example some say for some reason she doesn't decide to run for president what would be the next step for Isambayan will you be making another endorsement again justice well we expect her we hope that she will accept uh, our nomination uh but as we said, if she declines, we will meet again. But mm -hmm. uh, that's for us, that uh, should be a remote possibility because she already said that uh, she's willing to, to save the country from plunder, from dictatorship. She's willing to accept the challenge. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So sort of saying uh, in the <laughs> categorical terms, I have... Oh, two more questions, uh, Justice. Conveners uh, of Isambayan were reportedly divided uh, in the, these past days between VP Lenny and Mayor Isco Moreno. Uh, perhaps, uh, Justice and the other conveners, could you share some of the conversations you've had, how you ended up you know, weighing your options and ultimately choosing uh, VP Lenny over Mayor Isco Moreno, who has announced his presidential candidacy already? Well, of course, you know that we have uh, several criteria. We consulted our members. We had uh, like a primary and uh, VP Lenny emerged as the top notcher there. And uh, <clears throat> we had discussions. Uh, we have a general assembly composed of all our coalition partners, all the members of uh, Isambayan. And uh, we tried to get a consensus. Uh, but we were not able to get a consensus, but there was a, a, a preference, a majority mm. for Lenny. Under mm. rules, that would uh, issue would be thrown to the conveners and the conveners would decide by majority. And we decided by an overwhelming majority. That's uh, the most I can explain. Okay, Justice, can you share yung, yung bilang report nung sa conveners? Pwede po bang share sa amin? Well, we've decided not to give the exact number, but it was an overwhelming majority. Okay, and finally, uh, Justice, siyempre ito po elephant in the room. Uh, now we do have uh, possi the possibility of VP Lenny is running in the same elections as Mayor Esco Moreno, Senator Manny Pacquiao, uh, and even Senator Trillanes, and of course, Senator Ping was also among uh, the people na pinagpilian ng isang bayan in your survey. So have unity talks failed? Kasi all of the possible anti-Duterte candidates are seem to be, are expected to be running in the, in the elections. Well, one of the reasons why we decided to make our announcement now is so that our voice can be heard also by the other candidates that there's a group, big group of uh, uh, organizations uh, that is backing Lenny, and perhaps they can join us also. Uh, but of course, they have uh, their right to proceed if they want to. But just to send a message that a big group has supported Lenny. Mm -hmm. 
Pero tuloy pa rin po ba, Justice, will you still talk to Mayor Esco, Senator Manny, Senator Payne? Well, uh, Senator as uh, VP Lenny said, the unity discussions will continue until the last minute. That means mm. until uh, uh, October 8 or even after up to November when the, the last day for substitutions. Mm -hmm. And just as fi final na po talaga, how about your vice presidential and senatorial slate? Paano na po ang selection process nito? And when can we expect isang bayan to name them? Well, as we have explained, uh, we, the vice president and the senatorial candidates will be chosen in consultation with the with our presidential candidate because our presidential, presidential candidate is uh, uh, the lead in the unity ticket, unified ticket. So we have to consult with her. Thank you so much and good luck po sa isang bayan. Thank you, Mara. Mr. Mick Flores of AFP. Mick? Yeah, thank you. Justice, just to, clar just to um, clarify, how would you now characterize um, Senator Manny Pacquiao and Mayor Escomarin? Are they still considered a part of the opposition? And my second question is, what's your outlook in terms of further unifying um, candidates who have um, expressed interest to run for president and at the same time are critical of the president? Because the, the goal of Isambayan is to form a, a, a united slate and, and, a, and a single opposition candidate. Well, we live in a democracy, so we really cannot prevent... Uh anyone from running for president. Uh, but uh, all we can do is to persuade because we are a very big coalition and to show to them that uh, we have a big group that's supporting one candidate and maybe you can reconsider because if you run, you will probably be uh, uh, getting votes away from uh, our candidate. Uh, the unity talks will continue even as we have uh, chosen a VP Lenny already. And that's very clear. The unity talks continue up to now. Mm 